Oh. Yeah. <coughs> Perfect. I look like a fucking whore. Um, uh, this is my literally same face. This is about an hour and a half later. What do you reckon? I did these lashes the other day. Um, and I'd seen my favourite human in the morning. And I'd come home, and it was like a couple of hours later, and I'd done my eyes since. And I came in, and she hadn't noticed. And I walked into the kitchen, and when she turned around, she went, <laughs> she went your eyes. They're, like, yeah, they're massive. You'd think they were massive. So your makeup's fraud. Your message isn't that fair. <laughs> um, but tonight, it doesn't actually show at the moment this light. I think the light's too bright. To show it is like the foundation, and that is just showing up my <laughs> the true skeletal face underneath, which cannot be hidden. I can never look like a fucking bird. Um, <laughs> I kind of can. Um, <laughs> oh my god, I just literally <laughs> as I said that, I literally wiggled and wiggled. <laughs> I do shit like that, it's weird. Um, but I do shit like that. I like this colour. <laughs> um, yeah, it was like, even that was annoying me. It's, um, the lipstick's nice. It just wasn't, like, there wasn't enough of a fucking contrast. Like, having a moustache doesn't help. Well, not, I, my, um... Clippers have run out of battery and fuck knows where the charger is. Um, and I thought I'm not doing that because then I'll start fucking taking ages doing that so I'm a narcissistic prick. Um, <laughs> but it was, um, I did my eyes and they were just quite sharp and I did them quite minimally. It was just, just simple tonight, just two colours, um, purple and hot pink. The hot pink isn't showing, it's actually really fucking sharp. And it's just, it was just a nice little over the top of it that you could just see the little high pink. Can't really see it. And I've got a little bit of gold. That one I did alright. But the line goes right to there, to the nose, you can see the gold. But on that one, there's a tiny bit of black in the way. And then bottom rim's a gash today. Bottom rim's a gash. <laughs> um, but I did then. And then all I did, it was just when I, when I start doing the concealer and it sort of blanks my face off and I kind of look like a sort of yellow zombie. Well, I just look like a girl with hepatitis. <laughs> Very manly looking fucking girl. With a twat. <laughs> with a twat inside her. You think you've got problems? I've got a girl inside me every day. Um... But, yeah, it was when I started putting the brush on, and it's like when you come around all of this bit, and like I say, it's like the lights are showing up all of the angles of, like, my bone. But in a softer light, in a better light, it's just, it really was, it was like suddenly I saw the girl's face, and then the eyes made more sense, and the eyes looked more girly. And then I started doing this in my hair, and shit like that, and I just, my face takes on massively girly characteristics, and I love it. I fucking love it, and it's like, but I'm st I will still must insist I'm fucking male. <laughs> I'm a fucking man, I'm a fucking geezer. I'm a geezer, I like birds. I'm a fucking, I'm every fucking male stereotype you'd fucking care to name pretty much, or at least have been. <laughs> pretty much, apart from I don't go around beating people up, I've never gone around beating people up for fun. I've never started fights to make myself look hard or buzz off it, or, and actually I've never been violent, but, um, I've cheated a bit. <laughs> I've cheated a bit. Not as much as all the girls that I've been out with, but I have cheated twice. Um, but where the fuck is someone going on the bed there? <laughs> Cheating. <sighs> Every male stereotype. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every fucking male stereotype. I fucking pretty much have. You know what I mean? Um, and that's still there. A lot of that's still there. But it's like, but like, you know, I always used to get called fucking bitchy. <laughs> and it's like, because there's a fucking girl in here. 
Well, like she shares a lot of me, to be fair. So my voice goes soft. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel her. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, she's dirty. But like you would be dirty too. <laughs> You'd be fucking dirty too. If you were stuck inside someone that you weren't. <laughs> I can't stop my smutty head from being smutty. I just mentioned in a text message my original fucking hair wrap. So this is the last survivor. I've just found it. I said it was in my hair. This still has my original hair in it. About down to about there. That still has my original hair in it. There you go. That's one of my fucking original hairs. That's how long they are now. Not all of them, but some are. Um. I like that they're all in segmentical little bits. Like some of them are just tied on the end, just extended, and then she's gone over them. Yeah. <laughs> I just fucked around and just tied the. I'm no fucking. I'm no fucking, not ninja. Like mine, you can tell, are just rough. <laughs> I like that it's rough. I love it. It's like a fucking walking junk pile, <laughs> as well as like an activity blanket. It's like Swiss Army hair. I'm gonna get. Oh, I need to keep. I need to keep looking for one. No, I keep meaning to look for one. A tiny, tiny, tiny little knife, a key ring one, just like a gold one. You know what I mean? Like the size of my barber pole, but a real actual knife. My barber pole's still there. Yeah, that. I love this. I love my barber pole. There's a crust of diamonds within it. There's like a little magic wand as well. Betting, love me, please love me. <laughs> um. Yeah, I want a knife, a bottle opener. I would be just be the coolest fucking guy at parties. <laughs> you need a knife? I've got a knife. <laughs> Having trouble with that bottle, man. <laughs> I'm going to be amazing. My life will just be complete and incredible. <sighs> I'm just so fucking awesome. I want the bat signal to actually show up on the screen as the bat signal when I do that. Do, 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 do. I've got a, I've got a, a smiley laser somewhere that's going to go in my hair. But actually, I've just remembered I did leave a fucking keyring loop on one of them for just that purpose of anything that I want to be detachable. So I just mustn't forget to, darling, don't forget to take off your laser before you shower, will you? <laughs> And that could be a genuine fucking part of my life. I need to remember to withdraw my laser from my hairstyle before I <laughs> plunge it into descending water. Um, oh my god, I sounded like a girlfriend of mine. I'm not sure, I suppose I could call her a girlfriend. We never officially went out, but we had, we've had we we've got an extensive history. <laughs> um, yeah. I reminded me of her. I think the way I said it, I felt like her. I often do, though. I used to relate like shit to her. I thought about her earlier today and that exact thing. I used to feel like we've got a very... I would be very similar to her in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. I, like, her voice comes out in me, effectively. Part of it does. Um, and I think that's probably why I liked her from when I first met her, because I recognised me. <laughs> In her, I think there's a, there's a, f a couple of girls like that. There's another girl I know that's like that. There's, there's, you know, not the same people, but there's just certain elements of their character, their voice, their mannerisms, their face, the way they think things or say things. Those kinds of little uniquenesses. There's little personisms. There are those personisms. Um, and I feel them. And I just think more and more I've been in just fucking enjoying the girly ones. And I know I go on about it a lot, but I think fucking anyone would, mate. I think, to be fair, I think fucking anyone would. Especially in a world that wants to just screw its face up and say, oh, it doesn't matter. And you know what they mean when they say that? They mean it doesn't matter to them, but they think it's, it's just not an issue or whatever. But they're so angry when they say it. And they're talking about something that matters like fuck, actually. And just hearing someone crassly saying it doesn't matter and spitting it at you. It's like possibly the most fucking unhelpful thing anyone can say. <laughs> but they think they're being nice and they'll get offended. You've just said possibly the most unhelpful thing that anyone could say and you want me to just say nothing. Or not even fucking respond to that because you think you were being nice. It's like, well, okay, why are you shouting at me about it? Because <laughs> you've got a subconscious mind and your subconscious mind doesn't like 
having its deep-seated beliefs questioned or challenged. And it reacts with venom <laughs> to uphold its paradigms. That's why it reacts with venom in me to keep me shit. Because it's not, that's why I say it's the automatic programming. I've heard other people say it. It's like I'm automatically programmed. I don't agree with any of it. But when I'm in this situation and this happens, I just go to shit. And I feel like I'm three or fucking whatever. I just feel like I'm just the most helpless fucking human ever. And that can happen very fucking quickly to me. And to a lot of other people. To a lot of fucking other people. And have it noticed. Have people have a word with you. And put it to one side about it. And all that sort of shit. I just remembered what I thought of in my last video. When I watched it back. Was the foot thing. There it was. I wanted to that. There, like my hero, I wanted to be out of ass, and she's doing like a slut drop <laughs> off of that, and I just wanted to kind of like wiggle it and see if I could make it a little bit like a stripper. But she's not a very attractive stripper. <laughs> I think it's probably the kindest thing I can say about. I mean, she's not like, yeah, she'd give up. <laughs> <laughs> I've just sacked my foot as a stripper. Have you ever sacked your foot as a stripper and said, you can't be a stripper for me anymore, you're not hot enough. <laughs> Sorry, you just don't turn me on. Oh, dear, dear. My favourite human did put a love heart on the post. That I, when I posted it, I thought, if she sees that, she's going to ask if I'm all right. Because I did write it, I think, what the fuck are you writing? And it was because there was this fucking mantra of it going around in my fucking head. <laughs> it's just going around in my fucking head. And sometimes I need to write shit down and it stops it. There was one night I was doing, what was it, fucking Jark. I'm Jark. Jark. The Shark. <laughs> I love Jark the Shark. I think that's a fucking great name for a shark. Jark. The Shark. I pissed myself so up with it. <laughs> loved her and I was just writing loads of them and she spoke to me about that one <laughs> she was just fucking I said yeah just I'd go into a fucking a one lane motorway sometimes with shit and sometimes writing it gets rid of them and like I wondered if that's what she put a little love heart to it and that's sometimes <laughs> what she's on about I bet she'll speak to me about it if she doesn't watch this video <laughs> So I think she watches them when she thinks I'm fucked up, fucking going off the rails. <laughs> I'm not going off the rails. I'm on the rails. The rails are just wonky. <laughs> wonky little rails. <laughs> they go up and down mellily along their um, flirty little way. Across the hills and up the dales. Right up the dales. The dales that love it right up them. Hello there, Cuddlebur. What are you stomping around for? <laughs> he's just Rosen. You hear his jingling bell. He's going to eat. Um, uh... So no, I'm not going off the road. I just had a bad day. Take it one time. <laughs> I always think he says check it one time. Um, but I don't think that's what he says. But no, I do feel like the, the, the boiling fucking stupidity within. And it just keeps needing to come out. And that's like all I can fucking care about fucking describing it. And like, yeah, it's like embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the kind of shit that would lose you a girlfriend. Not only that in and of itself, it's the kind of shit that just gets her thinking. The fuck is this guy because I know I felt people think that about me I feel energy when I get close to people I feel those thoughts and I've heard a lot I've heard a lot of them <laughs> felt a lot of them oh let's do a 1444 in other news I did actually say the other night I haven't done a 144 for ages I checked and it was three weeks precisely <laughs> I had a little look so angels are all around you always